couple of days back I have run into an amazing legendary YouTube video Black and White by Michael Jackson. I was mesmerized when I watched it again, after I watched it last time nearly more than a de decade ago. I'm almost sure that this was one of the first music video clips in which the morph transition effect was used on such a scale. Unbelievable and crazy if we can imagine that this video will be 30 years old this year. I cannot find a better example than this legendary video clip and show you how to do morph transition effect from scratch, simple and fast in today's DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's jump into our edit page. Welcome back to edit page in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today we're going to talk how to prepare morph transition effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. You can see that I have already imported some video clips. Import all materials needed from your selected folder into the media pool uh, in the edit page. I would like to suggest that all shots of items selected are shot in darkened room or dark studio. Using your own set of lights, this way you will be a master of light manipulation. If not, any external light source will give you hard time later in editing and color grading. Selected clips should be approximately 5 to 10 seconds long uh, due to easy processing. In case that you are working with your own customized video materials, consider any clip used in this project, for instance fruit or vegetable, to be similar size and color compatible. I would like to show you an example not with fruits and veggie only, but also when you're using different human faces. You should be aware of face composition, eyes and ears position, long or short face, strong jaw versus small one, uh, hairstyle and color, and uh, let's drag and drop a couple of images with faces on our timeline. So you can see that both images were already edited in Photoshop. Probably you were ask me why. So if you don't have two faces that were shot in a similar or exact same distance from camera with similar light composition with matching background, you will need to invest a great deal of your time and effort to get satisfying result in any video editing program and satisfying is still not excellent or perfect. So you decide what kind of results you are looking for. So we can do all those corrections with different professional editing tools. However, there are many things to think of when video shootings are made as well. This way you will save a great deal of your energy and time later in editing. Let's check if composition of these two face features are comparable or not. Open Inspector, go to Composite and decrease opacity to approximately 50-ish. Just scroll opacity playhead left, left and right to see how similar these two faces are. You need to see if subject eyes are in the same position as the one below, if noses are the same size, if both faces are wide enough, lips position, if both necks are covered or clear, if light direction is from the same side or not, what kind of background is there and uh, you can see it here that uh, it's quite similar. Uh, let's reset opacity back to value 100. Move the upper clip to video layer 1 on timeline and let's observe this rough transition where you can see some small discrepancy between those two faces and, and background. Just use your playhead and scroll back and forward a couple of times. I reckon that we will have some small issues with this background when transition will be made. However, let's start with creating this transition. First, let's try to use video transition effect cross dissolve and see what kind of results we are getting. Let's see in full screen and you can see that effect is decent but far away from good or excellent. 
I suggest that we delete the cross dissolve effect and grab the smooth cut effect and drag it into between these two clips. Now let's go to inspect to the inspector and adjust the duration of the effect or you can do it uh, manually on the timeline as well so I would suggest that we go with four seconds because this effect will give us an amazing visual result you can see here in the full screen that looks very nice so if we set duration to a second or two we won't be able to sense this effect the same way as four seconds one so you can see that this transition is transition is in the stage that you can say with certainty that it is done by a professional editor. I assume that you have noticed that we have some issues with the background on the right hand side. Press Alt key and drag copy to layer 2. Let's change effect duration to one second and let's jump to color page. In color page, we can see all images on our timeline, if not press clips on the upper right hand side of your screen. So let's go to window and pick up a square tool, extend square sides to cover almost the whole image. Due to the reason that we need to correct the background on the right hand side of the screen, we must invert the mask. Now all the changes will affect only outside of the mask. Use this small square button with a dot in it, press it and the mask is inverted. You can see that in the note above. Let's move the mouse cursor to the node area, right click, select add alpha output, which appears on the right hand side of your screen. Now let's connect blue square with blue dot, this way we're gonna be able to see all changes in real time. Next is how to copy and merge mask and image. Be careful to merge V2 mask with V2 image. Let's highlight a V2 image and go and hover with your mouse arrow above the V2 mask and simply press the mouse wheel down. This way you will copy attributes to V2 image. Let's go back to edit page and see what this edit has done to our clip and let's play through to see the final result. I can say with certainty that if you are gonna use this effect in any of your projects or video, all the viewers will be definitely mesmerized really looks amazing. Should you have any questions or comments regarding this effect, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Did you see? Easy and fast. That definitely you will need more time to edit if you decide to go with a moving video clip like black and white. Anyway, all good, nothing to worry about. Morph transition effect has succeeded. What do you think? Leave your comments below. You can still download the free version of the Vinci Resolve 17 from Blackmagic webpage, so you can find the link below and start creating with us. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to share. If you like to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. Till next time, have a good one.